Hey guys, this is Ms. Creeps, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a data pack using mCreator 2020.3. So what I do is you want to open up mCreator, and it's just going to create you with this screen. And then we go to new workspace, and we can do a data pack, and I'm just going to call this test data pack. That. And actually, I already have a file on there. Let's call this test pack. And create a new workspace and it's going to bring you to this right here but there it is um your background will not look like this um you can actually customize your background that's a different video um but yeah this is how you can create um a data pack but as you can see here if you actually know how to create a mod and you watch my previous tutorial i card i card in the top right you can see that there is no run client button if I click it, nothing happens. You cannot do you cannot run a you cannot run the client with a data pack. You actually have to export it and then test it out in your own world. So I think that's kind of weird. Don't know why that happens, but hey. Probably just has to do with the limitate the limitations of data packs. And because they do not require Forge to actually use. So you can create your own data pack, you can create your recipes and stuff. Um, but this is not a tutorial on how to create stuff. I'm going to teach you how you can actually export it and use it yourself. So I'm going to quickly assemble a data pack and I'll see you guys pretty soon. So once you have made and assembled your data pack, I only have one item because I didn't take that long. This is just a tutorial. Um, but what you want to do is you want to export this. So I'm going to click export and export the model without donating. You, you can donate. I'm not going to though. But you can just Put this in downloads and we can just call this test pack i guess we can save that now actually if we open up our folder you can see we have it right here and then we have the pack and all the data test pack advancements and yeah that's the contents but now what we're going to do is we can now go and open up minecraft and no, we do not actually have um, to actually put this inside our um, inside app data. Because I'm going to be showing you how you can actually install this really, really easily, actually. So once we load up Minecraft, we can um, actually go to single player and click on the world you want to use the data pack on. You want to go to edit, open world folder. You want to go to data packs, and then we can um, go back to our other folder, where was it? So downloads, we can copy this, and we can go back to our other folder, data packs, and actually I already have, I mean, whoops, that's the wrong one, um, but actually if we go back to our Minecraft one, we can save this right there, and close all of these, and we can press save, we can go here, play selected world, and just like that, we can actually have our data pack installed. And if you're not sure what if it's in, you just want to have to want to do slash reload. So we're reloaded. And just to test if our data pack is here, we can do data pack um, list um, enabled. And as you can see here, we actually have two data packs enabled, the vanilla and the final test pack, and the test pack is the real one, is the one that we made. And then now if we actually go to the advancements, see that we actually have a brand new advancement on here, which is usually not here, wield the gemstones. So yeah, so actually if we get a diamond sword, we actually get that custom advancement that we made. So it's fully functional. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you know my channel, it would be greatly appreciated if you were to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, guys.